so now this next person, uh, uh, I've wanted to have her on this program for a long time. You know, I keep a little book of everybody, and she's one of the people that was written in there long ago. So I'm happy she's here. She's been, of course, on all the all the, the television programs that you're familiar with, the Chelsea Lately, the Jimmy Kimmel, the CNN, the MTV, the VH1. She's here tonight. Please welcome Julia Rossi. <laughs> You know, it's taken such a long, it feels like it's been forever since we've been corresponding about coming oh, on the yeah, show. Oh, yeah, you love to tweet. I do love to yeah, tweet. Yeah, you love I that do. Twitter. I do get on there. And I, I love being tweeted at. Well, then we're going to do okay. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> of course, uh, uh, how was your show? You had a dive comedy show. You run that out there with uh, Brooke Van Poplin yes. at Freddy's. Yes. How often is that show? Second and fourth Monday of every month. Sometimes there's a weird fifth month and we take it. <laughs> Goodness, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you see a fifth month we, by all means sees it <laughs> and uh, uh, so you had a good show though this week yeah, we had a good show that's yeah. great and uh, you and I of course we have so much in common I know this do we? Uh, yeah well, you're still divorced still divorced me yeah. too <laughs> me too yeah. <laughs> yep yeah. me too that's I didn't a... reverse it tried to <laughs> no. did you? no no you didn't <laughs> lay down flip it and reverse it no yeah. that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> Missy Elliott is who came to my mind. <laughs> you said it, I thought it, then I said it. Yeah. I don't always I, For a second, do. I thought you were saying Missy Elliott was your ex. <laughs> that that <laughs> could, could be less difficult. But um, <laughs> how's that going? You know, it's not easy for uh, a single 50-ish-ish -ish kind of person who, who chooses to wear a fashion bald spot in New York City yeah. to, to, to meet ladies. Do you have money? Loads. Well, then you should be. I buy twenty dollar deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> it should be happening for me. Yeah. Is that something you're attracted to, money? Uh, I mean, I'm not. I mean, it's nice if it's part of the equation. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, who doesn't like money? No. What else is the equation? Uh, What's else oh, like what else do I want in there? Yeah. What else is uh, included Tinted in that? Glasses. Uh oh. Nice tie. <laughs> Our radio show. Yeah, well, thanks everybody for being here. This is great. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Only took five years of doing this show. Yeah. That's what. You started the whole show just so we could have this moment. Yeah, so so Rega could get a gig. Yeah. So uh, Laura could have her dream wedding, uh -huh. and I could meet. Uh, Aww. My intended. No. Uh, no. Uh, and then my sister pops out of it. <laughs> something. Oh, it's called a callback in the biz. <laughs> Wonderful. Have you gone to a lot of weddings too? Uh, I mean, what's a lot at this point? I don't know. Maybe 29. I, that is 29. a lot. 29. I don't keep a log. No. Uh, but I don't know. I, there was a while where I think it was about five a year. Now it's dwindling down. But I feel like some of my divorcee friends coming back around. are coming back around now. Oh, that's so exciting. there's the whole like, like I just got invited to uh, like a, another shower. Yeah. You know, like shower number two. Uh -huh. And I'm like, do we already have all those things I got you? <laughs> I mean, I don't. So I understand sometimes those things get thrown away, broken, split. Well, I think sold. you had a great idea recently to have a shower sort of for the divorce. Oh yeah, I think so. That, that all the stuff that you have to split up, you get back. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm I'm endorsing that idea. I love that idea. Yeah. Uh, still miss the juicer. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's not a, that's not inexpensive to replace. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Nor is a loved one. <laughs> uh, but uh, weddings can also be. <laughs> <laughs> weddings can also be a nice place to meet people. You ever meet anybody at a wedding? Well, I was after I was in a, another long-term relationship right after my marriage ended. Good, get so right back into it. Right back into it. No, just very codependent no. yep. immediately. <laughs> and, uh, and so I have not been to a, that is a total lie. I'm lying. I did go to a wedding single this summer, and I met no one. So that's my story. Good story, Robbie. So a win. Yeah. But maybe that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's all right. Yeah, I mean, maybe I want to be married to myself. 
that's bullshit, but I just thought I wanted to. <laughs> that's true. You want to get married. You want to get married again? again? Yeah. Uh, I want, I, I don't, I'm not gonna, I, if it feels right. Yes. Yes. But I'm not like husband hunting. No. But if I meet someone lovely, it would be lovely. I have a, a memory of a wedding that I wanted to share with you. She was a, a gal, I was just a, a young person, about five. And I loved this woman, Marsha. Uh -huh. She was a, a beautiful Jewess and had long <laughs> curly hair. And uh, now that I think about it, her, she had a voice that was a little bit like Judy Gold, you know, Judy the uh -huh. comedian. So I'm not sure that that was the most enticing aspect of it. But just, just I loved her. I loved, she was in her 30s, probably. I was five. And just, she used to take me to the movies. And I would just think this, sometimes she'd hold my hand. And, and uh, just even thinking about her now, it's, she held a place in my heart and then she got married to some fella named David and I remember how crushing that was. And that is still my opinion of marriage right now, that it just can be crushing and soul stealing. And even if you had something that you love, Laura, you're gonna have a wonderful time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't even wish know you all should... the best. No, I'm not actually. It's too weird. Uh, or, uh, it was just a private thing we we're going to talk about, but not anymore. Um, you know, so in the beginning of my intro, this is it, it will yeah. go back to marriage. I promise. Oh, it, um, does, it doesn't have to. So I, why am I not? One of that's true. <laughs> Let's find this guy, gal. Uh, so one of the credits you said is Jimmy Kimmel, and I have I have deleted it off my bio. I have tried to hide it because. I was on it for two seconds in a sketch. Yeah, that counts. It was, it was like my, the side of my face, early 2000s, right? Yeah. Funny thing was, was that I like it was like a quick thing. They asked me to be in a sketch last minute. Sure. So I, I left them a voicemail for my sister. I was like, oh, you know, if you want to watch Jimmy Kimmel tonight, you might see my ear. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. You did see my face, but it was only two seconds. Anyway, so my sister leaves me a voicemail, and she goes, wow, you got booked on Kimmel? That's great. So are you going to like just do stand up or sit on the couch? Well, anyways, if you do sit on the couch, do me a favor. Do not mention that I just got engaged. I haven't told everyone yet, and I would hate it if they found out on Kimmel. And I was like, okay, first of all, <laughs> as if I booked, like, you know, two years into stand-up, my first stand-up national television appearance, as if I nonchalantly was like, this is weird, guys, but if you want to put on the old television, I'm going to be out. Like, as if I would be that, I would be yeah. freaking out. And number two, as if when you go on and do, like, they're like, all right, Julia, oh, Julia, great set, great set, sit on the couch. Now, good comedy, but I think what America really wants to know is, when is that sister of yours going to get married? <laughs> so, hi, Elena, if you're listening. Uh, so we can just delete that off my resume. All right, we'll take it out. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> that was a sensor noise. I got it. Yeah. No, I'm familiar with yeah. the audio technique. <laughs> I feel like we could co-host. Yeah, no, that would be wonderful. And now I'm just toying with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened before. So, uh, but you, uh, you, 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 feel, you have a long running, is it still going, the strip stories? Is that still happening? Uh, strip stories? Do, well, okay, so Margot Lightman, who I co-host with, so yep. it's very Because long. you are a talented co-host. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I am looking for a new life co-host <laughs> to co-host my life. That's a um, beautiful, beautiful you know. way of putting it. Yeah, that would be a cute ad. Anyways, so uh, Margot Lightman and I started that show back in 07, and she has since moved to L.A. So we, do, we used to Difficult. do it every month. Yeah. Uh, now we do it whenever one of us is in town. She's actually doing a show, a strip story is in L.A., May 22nd. So if anyone from LA, I don't know when this is coming out. Go shout around the world. Yeah, shout it out. But um, and then and then I have a show. So I'm a show with Brooke, and then I have a solo show called Bad Bride that ran at UCB for eight months, and now I'm gonna bring it back this summer. And it is Terrific. about uh, getting married when you are not ready. Theme and, of the show. And what theme of the show. And what happens? The show has a theme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we all know how that show ends. <laughs> oh, well, Spoiler alert. Good, yeah, you weren't a good bride. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, that's hence the name that I got it. Yeah, so. I'd go and see that. When's that coming up? Um, I'm rewriting it to be a longer show, so probably August it'll come back to New York. Oh, that's good. It's yeah. a little warm then. I tend to stay inside, but I'll definitely okay. try it. It'll be indoors, right? We'll see what happens. 
Maybe that, we'll come to your apartment and I, do it. Oh, that'd be delightful. I don't know how I'm saying we. It's a solo show. You got any... Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> just just sounded so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the invitation to have a solo show in somebody's <laughs> apartment, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> no. I, I'm, I'm trying. so glad I wasn't born a man. I would be the creepiest man. Well, don't worry. <laughs> There's plenty more, plenty in front of you. <laughs> That's a tough title to take. <laughs> well, as creepy as men go. We're talking about it. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's something. You got any tips for, uh, for 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 meeting people? You just be yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just be yourself. <laughs> Coincidentally, also what they teach you at UCB. <coughs> just be, be yourself. Sure. Yeah. And in acting, they say, oh, just be yourself. No, they don't. <laughs> they say, be this person we think you want to be. Yeah, be this person in the breakdown description. <laughs> yeah, that's how acting works. I've never, oh, well, that I'm doing it be wrong. Yourself I'm clearly the, doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to pick somebody to be. That'll be fun. Yeah, you just got to be yourself and people just flock to you. <laughs> that's how dating works. That's wonderful. Well, yeah. you heard it here. Julia Rossi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on over here.